Hi, Tim from Tim Moore Outdoors here. I want to talk to you briefly about something that I keep seeing online, mostly on Facebook groups, uh, in regards to the one-way valves that come with the Old Town Predator kayaks. These valves are not traditional scupper plugs. They're one-way valves that once you put them in the scupper holes, they allow water to flow out as normal in a self-bailing sit-on-top kayak when you get water inside the boat. However, they have this plastic flap on the bottom of the plug, that water pressure from underneath presses that, that gasket, if you will, against the bottom of the, of the valve and seals it, preventing or reducing the amount of water that can come up through. That prevents any sloshing of water up onto the deck, get your pant legs wet, things like that. I'm seeing a lot of people complain, or a few people have complained, that these plugs aren't adequate to, to stop the water. Now, they're not plugs. I want to point that out for, for starters. They're valves. They're not designed to completely prevent all the water from coming up through. If you put a lot of weight in the kayak, you're going to get some seepage. If you put enough weight to push the scupper plugs below the surface of the water, or the scupper holes, I should say, below the surface of the water, and you put these valves in there, you're still going to get some water that's going to seep up through. They're not, they're not 100% sealed. They just work on, basically, water pressure. So if you're putting that much weight in your kayak, you're still going to end up with some water in the bottom of the kayak. And you may want to consider something like a regular scupper plug or the foam golf balls or something like that. But then you lose the self-bailing capabilities of the boat. So uh, not a favorite uh, thing for me to do. However, I have owned Old Town Predator kayaks for years. I have owned every single model of boat that they make from the MX to the 13. I've owned the MK and the Predator PDLs. Uh, I have put these kayaks through their paces. I've taken very good care of some. I've not taken very good care of others that get worked a lot. I've really put them through the paces. And I will tell you the number one reason that I see these plugs fail on a daily basis is not keeping them clean. You cannot put these plugs in the boat and set them and forget them and expect them to perform and prevent water from coming up through. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get dirt in the kayak. That dirt's going to wash down through the scupper plugs, the valves. It's going to settle on these gaskets. It's going to stick there. It's going to stay inside there. And it's going to prevent the gaskets from sealing in the valve. And then you're going to get water coming up through no matter what. So they're not going to, they're not going to do what they're supposed to do. So when I bring my boats in at the end of a trip, when I get to the shore, I get out and I start pulling everything. Before I drag the boat out of the water, I take all my valves out and I rinse them in the water, put them in the seat back where they can stay um, out of the sun, out of the, the elements, uh, and they can, they can dry and they're clean. That way, they perform the way that they're supposed to perform all the time from beginning to end. And I've had plugs that were five years old that still work just as well as they did the day they were new. So keep those scupper plugs clean, and they will help uh, reduce the amount of water that comes up through the bottom of your kayak.